Welcome to the East Village Chef. Um, tomorrow we're gonna have a lockdown. My name is Andreas. And um, it's called stay home order, but it's gonna be pretty tough probably for the next few months. So today we're making um, Nabiyaki Udon. So the first thing we need is we need to make some spinach. Um, we wash the spinach. Under cold water. And then we, uh, we blanch it quickly, like for three minutes. And that's the first thing we need to do. We're buying some Japanese spinach. That's the best one. So I like the one here with the little stems. That's the one that looks good. So we bring a pot of um, salt water to a boil. Season it a little bit with other kosher salt. We need uh, two shrimp. I take them out of the freezer. So you put them in a little bit of a water, just to cold water, to defrost them quickly. So here's some edamame beans. Then we need some shiitake mushroom. This is uh, guan mushrooms from Chinatown. We need one egg, a carrot, and we need some chicken. So per serving is a, a half a chicken breast is fine. So we don't need more than a then I have a chicken breast, and the rest goes back into the goes back into the freezer. So put the spinach in the hot water, and make sure it's completely submerged, and then we blanch it for about three minutes. So we take the shrimps, we like peel the shrimps, like such, and then we uh, we leave the tips on at the end. It's an aesthetic choice, but it also keeps it a little bit together. Once they're peeled, we're going to devein them. It's important to take the guts out. We cut them in, if you can see it here, in a sort of a 60 degree angle. And 60 degrees on the bottom and stretching out a little bit. This should prevent them from curling up. Put the shrimps in here. And we're gonna marinate them a little bit. Spinach is looking good. Yeah, a little bit more. You don't wanna overcook them because they will be cooking a little later in the nabayaki udon broth. Put them in ice water to stop, stop it from boiling. and make sure it's completely submerged and let it cool down for a minute. To marinate the shrimps, I like a little bit of um, hosin sauce. We get a little hosin sauce, a little bit of mirin. Get this mirin, this is uh, the mirin from a few drops from Sunrise Mart. And then I like to put a little bit of a Chinese rice wine, just like this. And then a little bit of uh, some kosher salt. No, let's, do, let's use something else. I want to use the, uh, I want to use the Szechuan salt pepper that has a little bit more of a citrus flavor. So we get that on it. And eventually a little bit of a shishi mitogarashi, it's a Japanese red pepper. So we mix this up a little bit and let the shrimp marinate. Cut the chicken in small cubes and uh, only season it with salt, a little bit of kosher salt, or of course Norton salt, and let that sit for a little while. Cold water, filtered. And then per cup, you use about two and a half inches of kombu. You clean those kombu leaves with a wet cloth and then just drop it in there. Don't rinse it underwater, just really um, wipe them clean. 
put them in the water and uh, let it sit for at least overnight. You can let it sit two or three days, doesn't matter. Um, the longer you let it in the fridge like that, then the better the taste at the end. So we're peeling one, peeling one carrot, which we want to use as our vegetable, besides the mushrooms. I cut it in an angle like this, it looks a little nicer, like half an inch size. When you come to the thin ends of the carrot, you can, you can leave the sizes a little larger. The dashi, once it's made, it's, uh, it's good for three to four days tops in the fridge. So you put the water with the combo leaf in the pot and bring it to a boil, which takes about 10 minutes. You have to be careful that you take out the combo leaves before it comes to a boil because it becomes slimy if you do that. So we can prepare in the meanwhile we have the shiitake mushrooms. So the shiitake mushrooms, you take the stems off, you don't want them. Cut them in little tiny wedges. And then one shiitake is good per serving. And then I like to use a little bit of a pepper. This is just for the end as garnish. And we're preparing our mushrooms from Chinatown. So we get those. Take the rear end off. Just from the one you're using, because the other ones they go back into the fridge for the next for the next serving. So my little way of getting the spinach dry is I use a I use a Japanese tool that's usually used to making rolls, maki, and uh, squeeze the water out to get them nice and dry. This is our spinach. We're prepping some scallions. Just make sure you wash them thoroughly and then uh, cut them in little, cut them in a little angle like that. So we're bringing the dashi to a boil and um, make sure that we take the combo leaves out before the water is actually boiling. So it takes about 10 minutes on the East Village stove to bring it to a boil. And we clean out all the little leaves and residue with that kind of theft. And that's, it should be very clear. It's called clear dashi for a reason. So we take all this, we take all this stuff out. So this is the noodles we're gonna use. This is the chambu udon, Japanese style noodles. For the shrimp, instead of the tempura, this is East Village style. I'm using my pan, um, my bread pan, basically, uh, in order to stir fry the shrimps. If you have any other things left, if you have any vegetables you wanna use, you definitely can use anything you like. Nabiyaki udon is, um, you know, is designed to put everything in that's left over. So it's basically like a nice, a nice dish if you have a lot of leftovers, different things to make a nice soup. So this is uh, the, I mean, you can make dashi in, I think three or four different ways. I use those um, fish flakes also from Sunrise Mart. Other people use mushrooms. You can use the one little silver sardines, they're working good. You can use all of those ingredients together to make it, but I just make it with that. The water comes to a boil, just skim off the, skim off the scum as good as you can. And then what we do, we put in like a handful, it's maybe a half a cup of fish flakes in the water and let that boil, let that boil one more minute. until we turn the heat off. This is the good order noodles. They're like 350 for a pack, so it's not super cheap. But the other ones for 250 at the Sunrise Mart, they have a tendency to really fall apart very quickly. Now they're down on the bottom, and then we put it through the sift. Here we go. Be careful with that. And do it slowly. 
until everything is out here. So then I use that little fifth in order to press gently down on the flex to get everything out. You put it back in the container where it came from. Using one of those little guys, that's really handy. It funnels it, funnels this nicely, funnels it nicely into the uh, into the jar. Then you need a measuring cup, and you put one and a half one and a half cups is the perfect amount for one serving. So a cup and a half, and the rest goes right away in the fridge. And like I said, there's two more servings in there, and you can keep it for up to three, possibly four days, if you have to. You need one of those pots, these like, they're made for nabayaki udon, you can cook everything in there. You put it on your stove and you, you bring, heat it up, put your dashi inside. And start flavoring. So what you need is you need soya sauce. So one and a half cup dashi, and then it depends how much you want, you know, I mean, at least one tablespoon, maybe one and a half, if you want it a little more salty, all right? Soya sauce, cheap one, seasoning soya sauce from Chinatown, two bucks, it's a good deal. And then we need the mirin. The mirin is important, it's a, get the good mirin, the one from the Japanese one, and you put a tablespoon of mirin in there. And that's usually enough. What, what I do is I put a little bit of this, um, you can put a little sake in it, Sake is good, sake is always good. Or you can use this rice wine, I would just do a half a tablespoon, just to give it a little bit of a nutty flavor. You can also use sherry, but I would usually use sake, but I don't have sake today. So while this is heating up, what you put in right away, you put in the carrots, they give the flavor. So once it starts boiling, we put the chicken in. You use one of those cooking chopsticks. So you put the chicken in and uh, let it boil for two minutes. Clean up the board where you cut the chicken immediately because you don't want to let it stick around. So you need one of those. This this is uh, a vital kitchen tool. You put in the mushrooms. They go in first. And the edamame beans. And then we put the noodles in. So you break up the noodles a little bit and then you use those cooking chopsticks to to spread them out throughout the pot, and you give that four minutes. So the noodles, need, those mushrooms, they need about four minutes. So while this is going, we cook the shrimps. They take about two minutes on each side. So I'll put the shrimps in our pan. So you want to bring it to a boil and then give it another three and a half, up to four minutes. We can put the lid on if you want. Then we're cutting a third of the spinach we boiled. It was like one pound. And we're putting this after a minute or so on the side. You poach the egg in the pot. Put the egg right in the middle. So make sure that the egg is submerged in the broth, otherwise it doesn't blanch and keep and keep skimming up scum, keep it clean.
If the shrimps stick a little bit to the pan, then you can use the spatula to scrape it off a little bit. And then you want to maybe turn them on their back so that it gets cooked here. You don't want to boil it too crazy, you know, just keep it simmer. So put it, the heat down to a two on the classical East Village stove. So before the last minute, we're putting in the scallions. Make sure they're just on the surface. Then we put in our shrimps, like such. And then we have the red peppers. Little garnish. And very important, must have togarashi, Japanese red pepper. Put this lightly on top of it. And there you go. Nabiyaki udon. So be careful when you serve it, it's, the pot is really hot. So you want to keep a, you want to use a little bit of a cloth to bring it over to the table. Let it sit for another minute. And there it is, Nabiyaki udon. So when you, when you eat it, like go in and you know, stir the egg a little bit, that's very important. So you don't want the egg too hard, otherwise it doesn't distribute throughout the, the bowl. Alrighty, I'm Gordon, itadakimasu.